Hi everyone and welcome to Secondhand Sunday. Uh, I did have to go to the secondhand shop the other day to drop a whole lot of stuff off. Since my daughter's moved back in, um, she had some stuff to donate to the secondhand shop as so did I since I've had to move a lot of stuff around. So the idea was just to go and drop my stuff off. But as I was walking back out there, I said to the lady, oh, I might just go get my purse and have a quick look. <laughs> so I did that. But I'm very glad I did because there was something um, really good that I was able to get at the end. So, okay, so I'll show you what I got. There's not much, so it won't take long. There was this bag. I love this secondhand shop too, and that's why I donated there because um, it's one of the ones that's everything's really cheap in there and they have all sorts of rubbishy stuff and I love digging through that. So, so there was this. It's just a whole lot of little spools with some wool on, it looks like. So what I might do is use the wool for tag toppers and that sort of thing. And... I think it was only 50 cents or something so but I thought I would grab it for the um because these are plastic little thread spools could always do with a few extra of those so yes yeah, so I'll probably take the wool off of these crude homemade spools and um said so put that with my scrap trim that I use for tag toppers but yes plastic floss cards they will come in handy. There was a mini photo album. I have a fair few of these. So I probably won't get too many more. And usually I rip the pages out. I look for the bigger, sort of thicker ones and rip all the pages out, get them cheap from the secondhand store and then use the plastic slips to store all sorts in. Very handy. But this one I opened up and they're quite, I thought they were yellow, but looking at this, it's quite white. So it's just the actual plastic over the top that's sort of yellowish, but I kind of liked that. Might incorporate these pages into some journals. There was this packet of CD sleeves. Again, I love using these for storage. These ones are quite flimsy, but that's fine. But you can slip die cuts and fussy cut pictures and that into these to store them, which I quite like. I use this sort of thing and the um, envelope pockets too for storing my completed ephemera, like tags and that. I'll group them into something like this just to keep them in groups. And there's heaps in that packet. There was this pack of, they look like cards, but that's a little pocket. So whether it's envelopes and pockets, and it's got little seals as well. I've managed to grab a few different packs of these previously, of this sort of thing. So they'll be great for oriental themed journals. Oh, it looks like they're all the pockets. I'm really happy about that. And look at the embossing. Looks like it's different on each of them as well. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh. <laughs> the glue's not too good. I'll stick that back on. <laughs> that must be old. But aren't they gorgeous? Very bright and sparkly and glittery because the glitter's coming off by the looks. It's been a big day because I yeah, took all the stuff to the second-hand store and then come home and sorted out a whole lot of bottles and took them up to the recycle centre. I've got a whole lot of money for the bottles, which is going to go to charity, so that's great. All right, next I got an office stamp. I don't think I have this one. I've got most of them now, I think. So this is emailed. I like playing around with this sort of thing, so 
Just seeing if I've got some paper to stamp it on. That wants to be working all right. And if the ink dries up, you can just use it on your own ink pads anyway. Bit of fun. There was this bra elastic replacement. Um, I just really like the packaging. Oh, it's got a spare hook too. But yeah, really like this packaging, so I'll keep that for a sewing themed journal in the future. There was this packet and I saw these leaves and I thought, yep, got to have it. They'll be beautiful on a cover or as a dangle. Christmas tree decoration. Well, it's not going to be a Christmas tree decoration. I don't know if it's meant to be like that or not, but I, I don't mind. They're neat. I can take it apart and use them where I want to. Autumn journals, probably. Got this. It is a compression bandage. There was a big bag that was full of all these different sorts of bandages. They seem pretty old. Oh, it's really tough, isn't it, that stuff? Probably be all right for... Um, putting on your spines and that it's that tough um yeah but I really like the texture and the color of it so I thought that'd be nice for some layering maybe it's not gonna rip <laughs> but yeah this whole stack of it too so something different I thought they were paint rollers at the start and I thought they were weird looking paint rollers And then what I was really happy to find is there was this, which I don't know how much you'll see, but it's an analysis book. So, and I love the size of it. The pages are huge. So I think these will be great because they're a good size that you could use them in your tall skinny journals or cut them down, fold them over for, you know, they're big enough for any size journal really that you want to do. So if you want big pages or tall pages, or to cut them down, uh, that's going to be very, very handy. So it is a big book, that one. And then I was really excited to find a photograph album, but it is an empty one. But I didn't mind that because I can reuse the cover if I want, but I love the pages, even though they've had the photos ripped out and that. I'll do these in a vintage style journal. They're nice and sturdy to put ephemera on. So yeah, lots and lots of loose photo album pages. Now I never find stuff like this in the secondhand shops anymore. They just throw all the old stuff out, I assume. Or it goes elsewhere. And then next to it was another one. Now this looks like some sort of leather. And I don't think that's cow leather or anything. So I'm wondering if it's like crocodile or something. It is beautiful. So lovely cover. But yeah, it definitely looks like some sort of leather. And this one has photos in it. I was so surprised about that. Um, they tend, the price of this sort of thing tends to be going up a lot too, so I was really happy. I think I got this for $5, which I was very happy to pay for it. Um, so the photo is from New Zealand by the looks. Some of Auckland. And I love the writing on some of it as well. It's very neat in white pen. These look like postcards. of family photos and that. I think there was one in here that had a date of 1927, I think. One here's 1917. 
this one's 1927. So it's not completely full of photos, but there's definitely a good few. 1923. But again, I love the pages. So I've got blank pages here and they're a nice, thick, sturdy board. in Australia by Harrington so I'll have to look up about that so that was an awesome find um, getting those in the second hand store so that is it just a small one but yeah all in all I think it cost me $16 so I didn't break the bank so that was pretty good so I was happy with that it was a bit of fun hope you've managed to get out and get some crafty goodies for yourself Take care, be good, and I will see you again soon. Bye.